Okay, finally. V S C V S C V S C C. <laughs> Welcome to the most dangerous show of the week. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome to the Sun Dragon Side Show. The VSC edition. He, he, he. Still trying to find those um, little ends. Yes. <laughs> That's why I just ripped mine off. But um, it's been a day trying to get here and get filming and get started. Oh my gosh, there's just so much going on. Um, got stuck behind a mower, which a mower on 276 in the mountains is crazy. Uh, might have to have someone look at my car, but it's okay right now. No one panic. Who knows me out there? Um, flickering <laughs> lights that might just be flickering for fun. I don't know. Well, uh, yeah. what else? Coming, in, trying to get stuff ready to, to mail today because we couldn't do it yesterday because yesterday was busy. Having multiple shopping appointments sign up during the in the last minutes. ten minutes. <laughs> so we're almost booked for today when we weren't when I went home yesterday. I mean, that should be fun. Though. I think we yeah. had one appointment when we walked in this morning at around eight thirty. And now we have. Four yeah. plus a lesson this morning. So, um, so we're late getting this going. So it may be an abbreviated edition. We'll see. If that means that if at ten o'clock someone walks up to the door, then we're still filming. One of us will disappear, and the other will sign off. Okay. Um, by the way, I'm Rebecca. I'm the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in sunny and and much warmer. Not crazy warm, but I, I didn't wear my winter coat in today for Vard, North Carolina. I'm Liz. I'm the minion there. And I made us a new sticky because the other stickies don't, aren't sticky anymore. And we lost. Well, no, no, there's one here. Oh, we haven't completely it, lost. I saw it right after I made that one and it's, it's, it's seen better days. So, you know, I could spend my time whipping up new ones every week and putting little doodles on them and that would be really fun, but I haven't had time. <laughs> so, you know, all right, so we could save them all up, and when we do our sale, we'll just autograph them for our five hundred. But know, that involves, and then stick them in the bags. That would be fantastic. That go out, but that would involve not losing them. We don't technically lose them. They get buried under all they, stuff. They're they're in you know it's an archaeological dig. <laughs> oh look, my keys are right here. They're not usually on this table. That means I won't be able to that find them when bad. I leave today. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so um, so we are putting up one new yarn and reminding you of one a yarn that's already been up this week that will be fifteen percent off from today until next Wednesday with the code product of the week in our online shop for just sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna just kick that back towards you. Thank you. You can get that later. Okay. Um, <laughs> or so product of the week online in the discount code box or come up to the shop and say, Hey, I want to take advantage of product of the week. Disclaimer though, that we are having a bigger sale. You cannot combine the two. We're having a bigger sale on the entire shop celebrating international women's day, which has become international women's week for the shop with the code strong women. You have to, you have to come up and say strong women at the shop to take advantage of it. Put in which in the, case we'll go what what oh. no no here's the deal with that okay well let me let me finish my train of thought good <laughs> i'll come back to that because um you can't combine the codes so you can't combine them and say i'm getting a 40 percent. no it doesn't work that way um pick the larger code is what i would advise so through saturday use product use um strong women it's been the morning already Use strong women to save on your entire purchase 25%. If the things we're talking about today, either you don't watch this until Sunday, or you decide next week you want to buy some of what we're talking about today, you can still use the code product of the week on these items and save 15%. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning. But <laughs> I would use the larger, the larger code savings until Saturday, like through Saturday. Anyway, um, but no, here's the thing about coming up to the shop and, and trying to use like a password in a cute way. We have knitters who, who come up and they're like, well, I'm just, you know, I'm here because the shop's run by strong women. And it's like, what? 
it, like if you use it in a sentence, which is adorable and wonderful, we will miss the point because we are tired. <laughs> so that's wonderful. But then you should just say, follow up with like, give it a little pause. Be like, hey, and then say, the password is strong women. And we'll go, oh, you want the discount? Because <laughs> we'll probably say, of course, there's strong women here. Or you say, I'm a strong woman. And we'll say, that's awesome. And oh, you want the discount? <laughs> We yesterday went from zero to about 180 miles an hour in like 15 minutes. Like as soon as we finished filming, <laughs> yeah. life life went crazy, um, yeah. especially in the 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock hour. But we we turned around and it was 3:30 in the afternoon. Yeah, we don't know how that. Happened. Oh, it's OSHA. It's past OSHA time, and then we went home and did knit night. Yeah. And it was a nice knit night. So thank you all who joined us. The next virtual knit night is going to be Friday um, from your, your thing uh, from from 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the code of our shop phone number 828-877-3550 to get you into the weight room and then I will let you in and I will say please turn your camera on so that we know you are someone who wants to be here because we had some Zoom bombers. Um, but I kicked him out and now I have a better strategy for kicking him out. So please join us. And, and just a reminder that this week, especially for anyone who's trying to join us from um, distant locations or doesn't a location that does not use uh, daylight savings. This Saturday, Friday is normal, but Saturday night we switch to daylight savings time. Um, so our, I forget if we're switching to it or out of it. We the we're, time is going to change. We're losing an hour. We're losing an hour. No, we're gaining. We're, we're losing. Yeah, we're Springing losing. Springing forward is losing. We had a whole discussion last night mm -hmm. about how complicated this is and how we always forget. Fall yeah. back, spring all, forward. All I can think of is the Princess Bride and I've just sucked a year of your life away. How does that make you feel? And we're going to be like, mm. <laughs> um, so next week, and we'll remind you of this tomorrow, next week, the times will be different if you're not part of the time zones that change and things, you'll have to do extra calculations. Yay. So um, yes, on that note, let's switch to the products we are talking about today. Um, I'm going to start because I'm using these as an elbow rest at the moment. I'm going to start with our non yarn product. It's yarn adjacent. Uh, we finally got in our pom poms. Yay. And um, Pom Pom Quarterly is a wonderful publication out of England that quarterly, as it implies, is published four times a year. They were distribute their distributor for the U.S. is in Texas, so they got iced in. Yeah, these were supposed to go on sale March first, and usually we get them about three to four days before they go on sale, and we have to go. Oh, I can't tell anyone about them, and I can't show them off except the cover until March first, and we got them yesterday. And yesterday was March. Ninth, I suddenly forgot what day it was, even looking at my watch. Mm -hmm. um, this one, it's kind of fun. This one is the uh, quilt inspired issue. So there is both knitting and the crochet in this one. If you look in the corner, these look like granny squares and they are indeed granny squares. It's a whole granny square jacket. There's several like cardigan slash jacket things in here. Uh, she's wearing this little pinwheel thing that looks like the knitting is going in all different directions. And that's fascinating. I want There's to a lot say of spring colors um, in this because it is the spring issue. It looks kind of similar to like Unterlock. Kind of. Kind of. But I haven't looked at how it's constructed yet. So um, it's kind of like Unterlock, but I don't know if, if it's if it's the same kind of zigzaggy stacky thing. Um, but like color block work, it's really pretty. Let's see. There's one that looks like you're sewing colors over the whole thing when you're done. Yeah. Like weaving them in and out to make little patterns. Um, this is that, this is that maybe Entrelock, maybe not. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's from a guy who wrote a book called Entrelock Knitting. So I think Liz is dead on. Lucky Pieces. It is uh, Lucky Pieces. It's based on a traditional Korean outfit. It's pretty cool. Um, so again, maybe the pictures. Let's see what else we got. Uh, this is a really neat, it looks like it is knit 
across the sweaters knit across with lines of garter in it like little pearl bump lines in it, it a it sweater is. that goes from sleeve to sleeve instead of top down that's kind of cool i'm still intrigued by the coat i don't know why I know, look granny square coat and she's suggesting um either a yarn that's called like ends and bits or like a Use small mini skeins but she's like Use up your stash on it. Why not? Um, then sh they also have like what was quilting. You think about the squares and the blocks and the color piecing. They also make reference to quilts where you're just doing the textural stitching, free motion quilting. I have dabbled with that. It is crazy and fun. I used to try quilting. I have not used my my sewing machine in years. I really like this one actually. The the texture in it. It's one color, but the texture in it is really really pretty. I'll try to throw some of these pictures up in the listing. I haven't listed this yet online, but they're in the system. This is the one that looks like you are sewing colors this way and this way to make little crosses over the knitted piece. I haven't really checked it. Okay. I one of my favorite things about Pom Pom is they have a recipe. It's a couple of times it's been like a face scrub, but there's bread, there's all kinds of recipes in the back. It's one recipe. There's there's fun extra stuff that's not just patterns. This right? is confetti quilt cake. What? And it's how how to how to turn, you know, do one of the 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 cakes that has the the Ooh, the two different kinds. There's more patterns in here than I realized. It makes us small. Oh, cake. It's um oh oh the like it's an Italian wedding cake or something like that. It's a sponge cake. Yeah, well I saw I saw a thing on CBS about the stacked cakes with the yeah, it's kind of like that. And this tells you what to do and jam and look oh, at the patterning like. on that, the texture on that. No, that that sounds awesome. I don't I don't have time to bake, so, but that's that's so cool. I also like that the models in these magazines are all different sizes, all different ages. Yes, which is fun. Sometimes all different genders. This one they looks like mostly female, but you know, it's, I really like their stuff. Um, they're the same people who published our Ready, Set, Raglan book, which we still have some copies of, and we might be able to order more of if you would like a copy of that. That's a like standalone book. These ones are published uh, four times a month, unlimited runs. Hey, yes. That's what I meant. See, this is why she's here to catch all the errors I make. Four times a only year. the ones that I actually pay attention to. <laughs> you catch most of them though. Yeah. That's you know, that's that's good. <laughs> um, anyways, we have eight copies of this. We don't necessarily get large numbers of the pom pom quarterly in because uh, again, we don't have much traffic coming into the shop. Within a certain period, if we run out, we could reorder. Like we sold out of the Stephen West one that was last. And it quarter. depends on how many they print and if they're going mm -hmm. to do a reprint. Yeah, and sometimes they only print enough to fill orders, to fill pre-orders. So if this interests you, let us know, but know that you can save 15% this week once we get it listed online. Sorry, I keep touching my nose. I, I must have had a fuzzy from my mask that's stuck on my face now. So I'm going to do sure this without getting it. Purell. <laughs> without getting it on the magazine, I'm going to hand sanitize. I got hand sanitizer all over my lap last night driving home because I was going to drop off some yarn and I'm like, let me hand sanitize before I get there. And COVID issues. Yeah. COVID issues without having COVID, right? Yeah. We're avoiding that as much as we can. But all right. So on that note, let's move to the yarn. And um, the yarn that we're, let me, I'm start with what's in front of me. Um, the second yarn we picked for this week is one that's already up online. Um, I will try to re-examine the photos we have. It could be that we still have the original photos, which might be poopy. So I will try to take my own photos if that's the case or regardless, if I have time. We have such a busy day today. I don't know if I'm gonna have time. I will try. Um, my lace, stop well, leaving y'all in suspense. My lace. Part of is... the reason I suggested my lace today was because a lot of the patterns that were in the hot yes. right now were lace weight lace is becoming big it's on becoming ravelry. a thing I and know. we have very few what's considered lace weight in the shop i think the um united foursome from queensland is considered lace weight it's a little thicker than this though 
Um, this is very delicate, wonderful lace weight. I'm currently making the Eze 2 shawl from Espace Tricot. It's at home. It was my morning meditation, oddly enough, this morning, though. So if you'd like to see it, um, go to my Instagram or Facebook feed and check out the video and pictures. Holding this with a uh, mohair, it's been really fun. I'm knitting on like a size 7. So, but it's wonderful lace weight. What does so it have in it? Just to refresh everybody on the stats. Tell us. It is 60% alpaca, 20% cashmere, and 20% mulberry silk. It is like heaven. I forgot I had cashmere in there. Yeah. I was like, well, it's it's alpaca and silk. And then you throw some mohair in with it, and it is the warmest, yummiest. Oh my gosh, got everything. So I think we talked about, I'm sorry, you were taking a big breath in like I Go always ahead. do. Um, you get 400 meters or 437 yards per 50 grams. And they're recommending... <laughs> a um, 2.5 to a four for US needles mm -hmm. um, or a three millimeter to a 3.5 millimeter. And they even recommend a 2.25 millimeter hook. A D. Well, okay, here's what I found with, with Amano's labels is sometimes their hook or needle sizes, I think it's more their hook sizes, um, are, a little off. are a little off but go by the millimeters or go by whatever you want to use on it. Um, I forgot what I was going to say is I forgot, you know, we were talking about the stay out of the forest shawl that I'm making mm -hmm. and that blend is so wonderful. And that was um, uh, alpaca merino and silk. This is alpaca cashmere and silk. It's one of the few like yarns we have that have cashmere in it. It's cashmere not merino. Just it's just silk, cashmere, and alpaca. That's what I meant. That's what I said. Yeah. I said okay, this, okay, let me clarify. It's really close to the stay out of the forest. That was alpaca, merino, and silk. And this is alpaca, cashmere, and silk. Yes. I thought I just said that, but I might have said it wrong because she's saying something. So I'm repeating myself and hopefully the right way. Okay. <laughs> I, it, mm. I talk too fast sometimes and weird things come out of my mouth that weren't what my brain was saying. Or brains tend to be melting you know. down. But Amano is a wonderful company out of Peru. We have a lot of their yarns um, and everything's made down there. And so half the time the colors are inspired by Peruvian color palettes. This, like if, if I hold it up real close, there's a loose spin. It's I want to say it's a two ply. Mm -hmm. But there's a very loose and two plies are really fun because often they don't have a really tight spin on them, which allows them to be even softer and more luxurious like a four ply mm -hmm. something else gets a little tighter it's still nice. But a two ply can just be wonderful. No fluff. So the 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 wrap I'm making I'm really excited about but I have so many projects going I've made like I knit five rows this morning I was very proud of myself but it's going to take forever to finish, mostly just because I have too many projects going. But if you are interested in making an it to yourself, then I think it's going to take, it might only take two skeins of this. I can't remember. It's going to take two to three. We, we, I'd have to look at the, um, at the pattern. Maybe I'll try to put it in the description when we post this. But you can get this because what are we selling this for? Did we say? Uh, we are currently retailing it for thirty-one fifty. If you buy it this week, it is twenty-five percent off with the code Strong Women. If you want to buy it the first half of next week, you can use the code Product of the Week and save fifteen percent. Either way, that's a good bargain because this is pricey because there's cashmere in it, but it's lovely. It's like we talked about yardage, right? Well, yeah, yeah, that is four hundred thirty-seven yards. Like the one big shawl pattern you saw yesterday was like a thousand yards. Mm -hmm. It'd take just under, or it looked right like around a phoenix. Three. Yeah. It was huge, but you only, like, this is 50 grams, but it has the yardage of 100 grams of fingering weight. So you can get a lot of mileage out of this. And, and three would put it at 90 ish bucks regular cost, but you know, there's a sale. So, there's a sale. yeah. So 90. You say 18, I'm trying to do head math here. Um, 18 and four years running again. You'd save like over $20 with the 25%. That's as close as my head math can get without like really stopping and thinking and you all have to wait with a dead air and we're and not gonna do that. Yeah, my phone is somewhere. 
in your pocket. Right? No, it's on the it's on the table. Right there. It's blending in. It's like it's I've got these pretty colors that whoa that blend in with all the other pretty colors on the table. Woo. If you if you have a pile of it laying around on a table, it will protect your iPhone from you know. <laughs> That's why you should buy more, right? Yeah. Protect your iPhone from taking a fall. Yeah. Um, even though the new phones are supposed to be indestructible or more indestructible, not completely impervious, you know. Yeah. A, a good youngster could probably still shatter their phone. You know, anyway, neither here nor there. So beautiful, beautiful my lace. We're going to just colors. hold up the colors yeah. because they're all numbered. They're not. Yeah, I mean, I might have put names online, um, but you know, Oh, what a lovely color palette that is. These are some of the neutrals. It looks almost and, ooh, springy. I really want to point out these are tonal. They're like, yes. they're like, uh, I forget. Mayu, um, they're going to say, let's say, Mayu and Quechua, the native language of the Incas, means river. This unique blend of royal alpaca, cashmere, and mulberry silk has an incomparable softness and a beautiful texture using artisanal dip dyed methods inspired by the Incas. So there's there it's it's mildly tonal. Like if you look at the is a wrap that I'm making, I have a solid of um, the mohair and then this guy, and you can see the tonality. So there's parts that it, are darker and lighter. It's gorgeous. In the skein, you can kind of see them sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't show up how tonal they are until you wind until it. Until you and, wind it and use it, oh and you gosh. go ooh. And I've knit like a good chunk like this. And I still have a, a bunch of this left. I, yeah. okay. Anyway, it's really, really pretty. It's yummy. A lot of bang for your buck. Yes. It's pricey, but you get to save. So it's worth and it. Just because it recommends a little needle does not mean you have to use a little needle. I'm knitting on a seven, holding it with the mohair. There's another shawl at home that I have been stalled out on for a really long time, but I'm and it needed like three colors. I'm pretty sure that it was not on a teeny tiny needle either. It might have been on a four, but it might have been on something bigger. Anyway, so that is our first yarn, which is the second yarn we picked for today. Let's get to our second yarn, which is the first yarn we thought about for today. Because we've been talking, some yarn came in off of back order, and we've been talking with other people who want to use it, and it is lovely. And it is our, and I've been wanting to put it online for a while. And some of it's a little fuzzier than others because it's been here for a little bit, but it's still gorgeous. Um, it is the Heritage Silk from Cascade. Which is 85% superwash wool and 15% mulberry silk. Merino superwash wool. I know, I was like, is it just wool? No, or is it, it's, it's merino. It's, um, it's sock content kind of adjacent because the, her the straight heritage, the normal heritage, which is already up online, is superwash merino and nylon, which is classic sock content. This replaces the nylon with silk. And we have knitters who like to make socks out of this because it's more comfortable on their feet. And it is, it's softer and warmer probably too with that silk, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's really pretty. It is 437 yards for 100 grams or 400 meters. Um, they recommend a one to a three US needle. It's machine washable and dryable. And we retail it for $18.95. Currently is $18.95. Now the regular heritage is only $11.25, I believe. But the silk content in this boosts the price a little bit, but it's worth it. And you know, until Saturday, it's 25% off. And then through the beginning of like the middle of next week, you can still save the 15% if you decide after our mega sale, you still want to get it. Um, we have been out of the heritage silk real black is the one I use as a contrast to my Papillon because it was black and black, 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 and it was wonderful. And we were out of it for like, I feel like they've been back ordered for a year. And one of the reasons we want to put this up on the site is we finally got the black back in. Now, caveat to this, I think the color has changed slightly. It's still a really nice black. I'm not sure it's blacker than the, the straight up heritage anymore because they've changed mills. Believe it or not, some of you know what I'm talking about. Believe it or not, blacks can be different. There can be brown blacks and there can be, you know. By itself, it can, in a papillon, if you're not using it with any other black, it'll look 
really dark black. If you compare it to the heritage, just straight up heritage. Real black. Real you, black. You might think it's, it's, it's different. Yeah. Um, I used to claim it was the blackest black we had in the shop. I think it's the softest <laughs> of, of these yarns. I'm not so sure it's the absolute blackest black it can be anymore. Um, it used to be made in China and now it is switched to Peru, which is a wonderful place to make yarn. Um, but it dyes, it's a good black. Dyes but I'm not gonna can hold be affected it. by water, can be affected by altitude, everything. everything. So just it's, changing mills, even if it's the same, Stop. Some of the stuff from Cascade that's coming in from new mills in India and Peru are completely different colors than they were last time we ordered them. And, and that's just because they switched mills. It's not because quality has gone up or down necessarily. It's, it's just, they could use the same formula of ratio of dyes and yeah, water content, other things, um, fiber content, because it's being produced in a different place can change how it comes out. That being said, it's still lovely black. I'm just not going to stand by the claim I used to make of it being the blackest black we have in the shop. It's a good black. So we have black, we have white, we have a bunch of those two colors. And then we have random amounts of these other colors. We might bring a couple more colors in. They may not come in in, in time for the sale, but if you're interested, you can always contact the shop and say, hey, I'm interested in a different color. We might be able to offer you the sale price as a pre-order. We will see. What you got there? We have a limestone, and I think we only have the one. Okay, the limestone is is like a nice beigey, you know, off white. Off white. Uh, this is cerulean. It's really a nice, strong teal. Is I what think I we only us. have the one of them. Mm -hmm. And so it might be time to reorder some of these, right? We'll see. Raspberry. The raspberry is. It's not like a really deep fuchsia. It's a nice color that's kind of right in the middle, but it's a strong pink, right? Um, this is denim, which again, we might only have one or two of this, but this is a nice close, close to classic blue, I would say. We have red and I'm going to just let everybody know. We have two, we have two of this dye lot and two of a new dye or a different dye lot that- Don't look like each other. Don't look like each other, so yeah. So that's if you want something specific to be paired or matched, we're going to one of those will end up as the photo online. If you want something to be paired or matched with other colors and want to know how they look together, you need to contact us. We'll try to send you a photo. Um, charcoal, the ever classic charcoal. Wonderfully soft. Calla green. That's nice. I like that. That's like a nice olivey. It's almost a, it's a little brighter than the color you're wearing, but yes. it's a nice olivey green. So um another pink we have is heather rose this is more like a may like a antique rose pink i really like this too so chalk violet mm. and i have not ordered these for quite some time but if there's interest in the silk content instead of the nylon we'll definitely make sure we keep these in stock um this one is loden frost and it's, that's the only one we have it's kind of a minty green, but it's a warm, it's warmer than you're seeing on camera. Uh, so it falls more into the minty category, I would say. But again, it's it's a little warmer than it looks to me right now as I'm watching myself. So um, so that's a great one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's up eleven colors. I'm in negotiations with uh, with one of our knitters to maybe bring in a twelfth color. We shall see. Might just do it anyway. I don't know. So, um, but I'll bring in more if she's going to buy some. <laughs> anyway, um, it'll be fun. Yeah, it will be. So, so those are, and oh my gosh, it's only five of 10. Yeah. Everyone's going to be like, you only talked for half an hour. What? Back when we started, eight minutes was terrifying. And now it's like, only, only half an hour? What am I going to do? Yeah. More people might watch it because it's yeah. half an hour. This is like experiments that we don't have time to pay attention to the data on. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but I do think we're going to wrap up and go because that gives us time to get ready for the lesson coming in and potentially to get the stuff up online because with a full slate of appointments pretty much this afternoon. She's going to do this before one o'clock. Yeah. And she has a lesson. That may or may not all get done. 
I mean, I've already taken a cover shot of this. So at the very least, I can get this up with only one photo. I'd love to add more. I might circle back and add more of their promo photos after. Lace is up already. But remember, the code, well, I usually, as I say every week, the code won't work till it's in the right category. There's a bigger sale on the whole entire site. Please use that code until next week. You know, if you're watching um, this after Saturday, if you're watching this after Saturday, it should be in the right category and you should be able to save 15% yes. with the code product of the week. Yes. But right now, strong women save on the whole site. I just shook the camera. Sorry, guys. I'm a little excited. <laughs> I'll um, leave it. And then heritage silk needs to go up, but there's only 11 colors. So hopefully I can handle that. I still might pair them for the photo yeah. because if we increase the palette, I can only put up 12 photos on a listing. Don't know if you all have noticed that. Um, so I might still pair them for photos and then I take fewer photos and maybe you can get it done faster. We'll see. So um, we hope you all are staying safe out there and we hope we're on the road to maybe in a few months <laughs> letting people wander the shop, but it's not happening yet. So please make an appointment if you want to come in. At least four people have done that for today, have figured that out. So that's awesome. Um, it's really easy to do. You go to sundragonartandfiber.com and scroll down on the main page, or you can click the book and appointment inside shopping appointments. It's called something up in the menu. It's, it shouldn't be too hard to find. Um, it's really easy to sign up and then you can give us notes on what you're looking for. And since we only have a half hour in the shop, we can get as much ready as we can and maximize your shopping experience. I think it's pretty cool what we're able to offer customers. Yeah. So take advantage of that. Okay, um, other things to, I've already talked about sale a lot. Um, <laughs> one of our knitters last night was like, there's a sale? I'm like, you're usually on top of stuff. How did you not know yet? But yeah, like okay. she is on top of, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but it's all good. So, um, what else? Tomorrow is Dear Becky and Lizzie. I think we have at least one we question. We have one so far. If you would like to ask us a yarn type adjacent or directly question, then you can, to get it on tomorrow's show, you should email. Email me, Liz at sundragonartandfiber.com. Whole thing spelled out. All the words spelled out. Um, if you want to send us a cute little card or letter, then you can write out your question and you can mail it, snail mail. We love getting snail mail at Dear Becky and Lizzie, Sun Dragon Art and Fiber, 35 South Broad Street, Brevard, North Carolina, 28712. And then I've already mentioned Knit Night on Friday. Our Saturday ha afternoon sit and stitch virtual happens once a month. It's happening on March 20th. So it's not yet. I think it's, is it already? I think it's a, weekend after this. A week from Saturday. That's crazy. Yeah, today's the 10th. Time so, flies. Yeah. So it's in 10 days. And we'll have more details specifically about that next week, but you can always check out the details on my Facebook page, our business Facebook page, Sun Dragon Art and Fiber. So have a good day. We're going to go because it's like 9.59 and it's time. We love y'all. We miss y'all, even those we haven't met yet. Thanks for sharing a little bit of your day with us and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, subscribe because we're getting there on subscribers, but we want more subscribers. So we'll give you a sale at 500. So at least give us a, a thumbs up. All this stuff helps with YouTube stuff. And, and then we all benefit. So bye. bye.